Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the cost of renting a car for one day is $52 plus $0.25 per mile. Let M represents the number of miles the car was driven and let C represents the rental cost in dollars for a day. Then in the first part, write an equation for the rental cost of the car in terms of number of miles driven. In the second part, complete the following table of values. Also explain the meaning of values found in the table. And in the third part, find the initial value of cost and rate of change. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now here we are given that the cost of renting a car for one day is $52 plus $0.25 per mile. Here M represents the number of miles the car was driven and C represents the rental cost in dollars for a day. Now in the first part, we have to write an equation for the rental cost of the car in terms of number of miles driven. Now, here cost of renting a car for one day is $52 plus $0.25 per mile and C represents rental cost and M represents the number of miles traveled. So, for M miles, cost of rent will be equal to 0.25 into M plus rental charge. So this implies now cost of rent is represented by C and this is equal to 0.25 M plus rental charge which is $52. So we got the equation as C is equal to 0.25 M plus 52. So this is the required equation for the rental cost of the car in terms of number of miles driven. Now in the second part, we have to complete this table of values and we have to explain the meaning of values found in the table. Now here we have to complete this table. Now in the second column, number of miles driven are given as 54 and for this we have to find the rental cost C. Now we have obtained an equation for the rental cost of the car in terms of number of miles driven. Let this be equation number 1. So putting M is equal to 54 in equation 1, we get C is equal to 0 0.25 into 54 plus 52. Further, this implies C is equal to, now 0 0.25 into 54 is 13.5 plus 52 and this gives C is equal to 65.5. So, for M is equal to 54, we get C is equal to 65.5. So, this means when car was driven, 
फोर माइल्स द रेंटल कॉस्ट वॉज सिक्सटी फाइव डॉलर्स नाउ इन द थर्ड कॉलम फॉर सी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी टू वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम सो अगेन पुटिंग सी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी टू इन इक्वेशन वन वी गेट सेवेंटी टू is equal to 0.25 into m plus 52 and this implies 72 minus 52 is equal to 0.25 into m which gives 20 is equal to 0.25 into m and this implies m is equal to 20 upon 0.25 to 5 which is equal to 20 into 100 upon 25 and this is equal to now 25 into 4 is 100 and 4 into 20 is 80 so for c is equal to 72 m is equal to 80 so this means when the rental cost was 72 dollars the car was driven 80 miles and now in the third part we have to find the initial value of cost and rate of change now we know that equation of the line is of the form y is equal to mx plus b where y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable and the coefficient of x that is m is the slope or rate of change and b represents the y intercept also b represents the initial value now where we have this equation for the rental cost c in terms of number of miles m and this equation is of the form y is equal to mx plus b here c is the dependent variable and m is the independent variable now we know that coefficient of the independent variable represents the rate of change so here the rate of change is equal to 0.25 and here y intercept is 52 which means here initial value is equal to 52 and this value can be obtained by putting m is equal to 0 in this equation this means even if we do not drive the car then also we have to pay the rent of the car for a day that is 52 dollars thus initial charges are 
$52. So, initial value of cost is $52 and rate of change is 0.25. And this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.